Uh, hay prices uh, across the southeast are, are holding uh, fairly well, although uh, those prices are likely to increase. Uh, the weather conditions being what they've been this fall, uh, some of the uh, uh, crop conditions have not been really good and real conducive to making good quality hay, uh, that last cutting or two. And so uh, many of our producers were counting on that because they've been feeding a lot of their hay through the summer. So uh, we're going to be pretty tight moving through the, through the, uh, the winter months. Um, hay prices right now are hovering uh, between uh, $120 to $150 a ton for uh, uh, beef qu quality hay uh, in the lower uh, 100s in, uh, in RFQ. We get up into the dairy quality hay and then we start talking about some, some very uh, uh, expensive uh, material, you know, $175, $200 to maybe even uh, 250 for some very high-end um, uh, quality forage. Well, corn prices still are really driving everything. Um, uh, corn prices being what they are is a, making a huge premium for quality now. Uh, definitely the quality uh, of, of above 120 to 150 uh, for dairy quality hay, or sometimes above that even, uh, is there's, there's definitely a premium for that. Uh, there's also been a pretty substantial amount of, of export, uh, not necessarily from this area, although we're seeing some exported from this area, uh, but as a general rule in the whole of the U.S., and that's uh, dragging down uh, uh, or dragging up our prices. Well, it's been another uh, difficult year in the southeast with uh, widespread drought from, from uh, Texas and New Mexico all the way over to uh, the, the southeastern states. Uh, Georgia has not been immune to that. We've also had our fair share of those those issues too. Uh, certainly, our our hay production has been off pretty substantially, and uh, hay acres have been down pretty substantially. So uh, hay supplies are going to be pretty scarce this this uh, this fall and winter. Uh, so one of the big challenges for us is to uh, go ahead and get some winter annuals in the ground. Uh, we've been fortunate enough in the last few weeks to be able to get some good moisture and and get. Uh, our rye and uh, rye grass and and small grains in the ground uh, and so we've got a real opportunity there to uh, uh, take full advantage of our, our winter grazing uh, seasons. Unseasonably cool here for the Sunbelt Ag Expo and uh, for this time of October normally we're still up in the uh, 80s and, uh, and sometimes even bumping up close to 90. So uh, it's it's a the weather, the temperature-wise, is very good for uh, for winter annuals uh, and getting them off to a good start. And the moisture is definitely helping. The difficulty is going to be, at least in the short term here, in the next couple days, uh, getting into the fields. But um, uh, this is really a, a welcome sight for us in Georgia. It's a little bit cooler weather and definitely some moisture.